Jennifer Vatza from Belladonna's Botanicals. Welcome to my channel. I thought I'd do a little video because uh, you've probably noticed if you follow my channel that I haven't been making as many videos and really I had taken some time off um, from making videos, making content and stuff uh, starting, um, I think the last time I did any videos was back in maybe like October, November maybe. Um, I, I needed to take some personal time off, uh, for things. Also, it was the holiday season, which is the busiest time of year, uh, for anyone who runs a, a retail online or brick and mortar business. And as I've mentioned sometimes before is I get really bad seasonal depression, which usually hits around the holidays. And, um, it was a little rough going for a while there, but it's been a little better, but I just wanted to kind of take some time to talk about what I've been up to and things like that. So, um, first and foremost, um, I'm going to try to get back to making content more regularly. I can't promise anything, um, cause I'm dealing with, uh, in addition to running my business, I'm dealing with uh, some health issues. Um, uh, I've been having chronic pain for a long time, um, in my joints and it's been particularly bad in my lower back. Um, I have issues with, uh, my hip joints, which I have, if you want to get technical, I've, uh, it's worse on my right side, but I, I have a torn labrum in my hip and that's the cushy thing that keeps your, your hip point, uh, your, the femoral head from grinding into your, uh, hip joint. So anyways, that's fun. Get, I get cortisone shots every now and then and it's okay for a long, for a while, but I've been having a lot of trouble with my lower back and I am currently in a holding pattern on that, but I have several different spinal things going on in my low back which are all degenerative so and will be chronic um and they are precursors to st spinal stenosis which my dad and my grandmother both had so basically i have three things going on i have disc slippage so my spine my vertebrae are slipping out of place um and bone spurs and nerve impingement um in between i forget they all have really long technical terms for them and i don't remember them off the top of my head uh, nor can i probably pronounce them um but i'm just in a holding pattern until i can get in uh to see um someone at pain management which isn't until the, um, a couple weeks from now and so hopefully i'll be able to have a little better quality of life after that because it's 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 hampered my mobility and my ability you know I'm in pain a lot of the time so you know it's that's also why I've slowed down a little bit on releasing new products just because I'm like sometimes I'm like I just have to go lay down on the heating pad for a couple of hours or I just can't you know before I may wake wake up at 10 o'clock in the morning I'm still not getting out of bed till afternoon until my back loosens up I got to take a hot bath etc and you know just wearing a you know one of those like store-bought back braces and you know taking lots of uh acetaminophen naproxen whatever um just to manage you know the the daily aches and pains and as long as i don't do anything stupid when my back is not hurting um because what ended up happening was i was like oh i feel good today and i decided to rearrange my entire product storage room and move a lot of heavy furniture around and move a lot of products around and then i was fucked for like two weeks um so that's the first part of it. Um, and the second part is that um, this is a little bit why I have been making less content that started over the fall is um, back uh, in August, I started going to therapy again and doing EMDR for my my mental health issues, my you know CPTSD, uh, you know, all that stuff. So, and that has kind of led me down a path, a healing path. And it's, it's been intense at times. And, you know, I've learned a lot along the way in coping and, and stuff like that. But what that has led me towards, and I'm currently being evaluated for, but it's very likely that I am on the autistic, autistic spectrum, which I don't know why it never dawned on me to look into that since my brother and my nephew are both on the spectrum. Um, but it was the first time I'm like, wow, this explains everything. And also, as I've mentioned, I'm ADHD. So, uh, I was like, huh. So all those things I've been doing my entire life, that? Really? Now, I'm older. I'm going to be 47 in June. So, I mean, 
and I don't mean this to be offensive to anyone, but like in my generation, that that stuff, unless you were like, you know, Rain Man level, you know, or, or something like that, it just was not noticed. Or you were just a weird kid who talked too much, like, like me. Or she'd do better in school if she just applied herself. But, you know, we just didn't have the resources back then that are, have been available um, to the younger generations. And, and now, like, my, my nephew was diagnosed at, like, two or three or something like that. Whereas, I mean, my brother wasn't diagnosed till he was, like, in his 30s. But, um, you know, those weren't available when I was growing up. So we just, you know, especially, you know, for women, um, autism sy symptoms manifest a lot differently. And we learn to mask them very well. And as I've come to realize, I learned to mask so well over the years that I didn't even realize, like, a lot of the things that I was doing. And, you know, it was just like, ah. <laughs> like, the best way I could describe it is I've lived my entire life feeling like an alien, trying to figure out how to be human, and I'm missing a whole bunch of the instruction manuals. So I get things wrong, wrong a lot of times. I use wrong words sometimes. There's things to me, like, I don't get offended by things, and I don't always understand when someone is offended by something, why they're offended. Like, I'll be like, okay, that's a thing that offends people, but it doesn't offend me. I know not to say it, but I, there's something that just kind of goes, Whoop! as to the connection process. It's kind of like having legs without kneecaps sometimes. You know, it's like, I've got these functional things, but then there's something missing to make them work the way they're supposed to work. And it took a lot of... I mean, two things it, it, that I think helped bring this to the forefront for me. And number one was freaking COVID, the, the, the quarantine and stuff, because I got out of the having to mask every day, having to get up, go to work, function in, in you know, a day, a, a, an office setting and, and all this stuff. And, you know, just all those those routine things that I had to do. So when I was at home alone and, and stuff like that, like I just didn't have to mask anymore. So I forgot how. So it started becoming more and more noticeable. And later in 2020, I had, for the first time in a great many years, gone off all my psych meds. Um, I was, I mean, at that point in time, I'd, I'd been steadily going off of them over the past four years. So it wasn't like a drastic thing, but it was the first time I had been in an unmarinated brain of mine in like over a decade and you know between being on I don't even know how many different psych meds in my life um sometimes being on meds sometimes not being on meds refusing to be on meds there was a whole time in the early 2000s when that was the case maybe late late 90s early 2000s before I realized you know I need something but I was also you know uh using drugs and alcohol at the time to kind of deal with some of that stuff so not the best help uh, coping mechanism but um, so it was the first time, and this is, I'm only a year and a half out from that, of, I'm like, wow, so this is how my undrug marinated brain works. Turns out, doesn't work that well sometimes. And, you know, I just have times where I literally cannot function. And, you know, the, and as I started noticing this, and then I left back in uh, the fall of 2021, I also transitioned out of working my day job. Um, cause you know, prior to that, we were all working from home. Um, and I was just like, I can't go back to, I can't do this. I can't go back to that. And so I was dealing with a lot of concurrent things at the time. And so I've been working from home, um, running my business full time since October 1st of 2021. And, you know, in this time I've, I've just noticed how I function or don't in some cases. So and that's all kind of led me to where I'm at. Um, I have, yeah, I've talked to my psychiatrist who I've been with, working with for since 2012, um, my therapist that I've been with since 2018, and the person I do EMDR with since I started working with them over the summer. So, um, you know, kind of working towards, my psychiatrist may send me toward uh, to do some uh, neuropsychiatric testing for that, for there's an official diagnosis, but I, as she put it, it's like, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, probably a duck, um, which I concur. Um, it was like the first thing in my life that I'm like, wow, this actually makes a whole lot of sense. And the more I look into it, I'm like, oh, that's why I do that. Huh, not everyone does this? But anyways, so 
dealing with a, with, with a lot of things going on internally and externally on the physical health and mental wellness stage, so I have not been making as much content. Now, the other thing, um, related, unrelated, is um, I took a little bit of a step back from the Left Hand Path community for a while because I was stuck in the middle of warring factions for way too long and things that really didn't involve me um, and I just don't care about. Um, you know, it's especially for someone who is neuro neurodivergent and has a history of, of CPTSD, um, you know, some borderline personality characteristics and ADHD, it was a lot for me. And I literally spent most of 2021 in a constant state of being triggered by things that was triggering past trauma and abuse and things I'd gone through in my life. And I needed to take a step back from that for my own well-being. And, you know, looking back on it, it's a lot, like, I have a deeper understanding of it. Like, I got stuck in the middle of things because... You know, for me, I have a deep-seated fear of, uh oh, shit, I'm going to fuck up something totally basic here. And, like, you know, like, I I'm just scared of doing the wrong thing sometimes. Um, even though I don't, might not come off like that, uh, it is. And a lot of it ends because I'm missing those handy-dandy files that teach you how to be human um, fully. Uh, is that a lot of times in social situations, whether they be online or off, is I have to kind of... I'm like, oh crap, they're gonna find out I'm an alien! Shit! Okay, so let's act like the rest of the humans around us and blend in! Don't make any sudden ha gestures, hand movements, whatever. You know, just go with the flow. So I got stuck in the going with the flow and thrown under the bus a, a few times. Um, but I've done a lot of work to get myself out from under that bus. Um, and, you know, cross the aisle, as it were, and, you know, realize... And, and I've made this statement, maybe more on, on my personal social media stuff. The only side I choose in anything is my own. Unless you're coming at me, I really don't care. Like, I, I don't want to get in, in, in involved in your relationship drama and the he said, she said of it all. And, um, you know, oh, you have to choose sides. If you're friends with this person, you can't be friends. Eat a bag of dicks, okay? You know, I just don't have time for this. My brain cannot deal with this. I... I am exhausted merely by existing each and every day. To add those extra layers on top of it, I cannot handle it. I need to take care of myself, and I need to run a business. That's Those are my priorities. And I am very thankful to have a partner that like fully supports me and understands me in my journey of self-discovery and healing and it's really been quite wonderful um so yeah that's a little bit of where I'm at and what I've been doing and I know I've probably mentioned this in other videos but I spent some time last year learning um I did my level one through three Reiki uh some uh Yusui Reiki master um I am just now finishing up the last part of my crystal healing certified crystal healing uh or certified crystal healer cert thing i don't know whatever words um so i just have to finish up uh a, 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 the nuts and bolts of it and submit that and then i get a little thing that says yeah you're certified so um i should have done it over the fall but you know i was just going through all this stuff so so i'm finishing that up um also did uh last month i did my level one shamanic reiki uh, certification which was really which was a really wonderful experience and I just like learning I, I found that I really like to learn he, uh, healing energy work because that's a lot of what we do and I think it's so crucial and so important that not only do you include self energy work but you know having energy work done on you by others as well like I have people I, I go to to get Reiki done regularly um whether it be once a month once every couple months or if it's a crystal healing or something like that having that work done or being able to do it on myself really really helps to keep the balance because I see a lot of it um a lot of what I see in the community is just a stark lack of balance in in the work especially if you're if you're practicing black magic working 
with demons and, and dark spirits and, and, all, and all that is you really need to have balance or you're going to go cray cray. And I see some people go cray cray. Um, so that's a little bit of where the fuck I've been for like pretty much the past six months. I'm like, oh shit, it's April. Maybe I should start making some videos for this year. I did make one earlier um, about my Ukrainian heritage and what's going on in the Ukraine. Um, so I'm going to try to make videos. I tend, and this is just probably my personality and, and the other things, my processing, I tend to make clusters of videos all at once and then not make videos again for a while. So that may be what I'm doing. I don't know. Um, I'd like to start doing some live streams again, but it's, it's hard for me to commit and say like, I'm going to do a live stream every, you know, day of the week at, you know, whatever time. I, sometimes I just, I, I have a hard time scheduling things like that because sometimes I'm like, I can't tell you that I'm going to be, be able to help put a complete sentence together um, <laughs> at times because, you know, I literally sometimes, uh, like, my one of my sisters will ask me something when we're working and I'll just like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, well, blah, blah, blah. Um, like, because I literally just, you know, words, forgotten, sentence structure, whatever. Um, so that's... It. I know I've been kind of rambling on here for a little while, but I just want to let you know I'm still alive. I'm still here. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and I will honestly try to make some more video content because I am woefully behind on that. Um, a lot of things I wanted to do last year just did not get around to it. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I have to take care of myself um, because I come first. And, yeah. So, and I'm going to continue taking care of myself and doing what's best for me. And I also want to mention that I get a lot of requests, people asking me for ritual, for ritual for hire work and for doing spell work um, and things like that. I am not do, I am currently just because of the things I'm do, dealing with right now with the chronic pain and getting my um, brain scramblies all together. Um, I'm not currently doing um, any ritual for hire work or... Um, spell casting for clients at this time. I may start doing some energy work. Um, I'm kind of slowly kind of seeing what I can handle each day. Um, so I might do some, uh, so probably at some point I will be offering some distance crystal healing and Reiki sessions and things of that nature. So um, that's something I look forward to. I was hoping to get that launched like months ago. I just haven't had, I just haven't had the the wherewithal to do that but I'm I'm not personally doing any um, ritual work right now for clients for Belladonna's botanicals but if you are looking for ritual work um, I do highly recommend my colleague uh, who does a lot of work for me for graphic design stuff customer service everything a serial cravat um, uh, he's a brilliant ritualist, and I highly rec recommend his work. So I would definitely say, um, if you're looking for ritual work from us, um, and we'll have content, we'll have the information below um, on how to get in touch for for doing that. But I'm not currently doing anything right now of that nature, just because it's literally like even doing my own personal ritual work sometimes I'm like okay my altar's over there I'm just gonna sit in bed and be like I lit some candles over there hope that's good guys because I can't like even sitting like I have a floor pillow in front of my altar even that like my legs will start falling asleep and I start cramp my back starts locking up and stuff so um I just can't do it and please don't beg me to do it because that makes me feel bad um, I would love to be able to offer more ritual services and things like that. I just, I just can't do it right now and I have to take care of myself. So thank you. Thank you for understanding. I will, as I am able to, um, for me doing energy work is a little easier because I can do that in my bed or on my sofa, um, ultra adjacent, um, where I'm more comfortable and stuff. So I'm just figuring out some of the logistics for that. So Hopefully I'll be able to get some of those offerings out there soon. So anyways, love y'all. Bye.